Betty and the Buccaneers is an American film that was released in 1917. It has adventure, it has pirates, and yet a lot of the critics fixate on the hair bow. They fixate on the fashion. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. Oh my goodness. Yes, um, when it comes to the character Betty, uh, she's supposed to be a, a preteen, uh, 13, 14 years old. Well, of course, in the Edwardian era, there were young girls who wore the large hair bows in their hair. And for some reason, critics, when they look at this movie, just cannot stand what they call a stereotype. But it's not a stereotype. That was the fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness so um and and you know mary pickford she was in her 30s and she was still portraying 11 12 year old characters so um if, if you're gonna gripe gripe about that too but i've never seen anybody gripe about that so <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when it <laughs> comes to the the story of Betty and the Buccaneers, you have, of course, Betty, and she is the daughter of this successful businessman, and she craves adventure. She loves adventure. She reads these books about adventure, like pirates, pirates who go off on these adventures and, and everything else. And so her father then uh, receives this um, business deal that is supposed to be on an island. You know, if he goes on this island, then it will help and all this. And she encourages him to go because, of course, this is a, you know, a, an adventure. And... Um, well, the problem is, is that the people behind the deal are wanting to take over the estate and steal all this stuff and and everything. Well, so it, it just, it goes on from there. I mean, is the dad going to be saved? What's going to happen to the estate? What's going to happen to Betty? <laughs> and um, And everything else. Now, I do have to say, because it surprised me, that there is uh, the use of the N-word. So I, I was watching this, enjoying the movie, and then all of a sudden, that popped up. Um, as, as the bad guys are entering the, uh, the estate, and, and Betty starts attacking them and everything. It was kind of a, a home alone uh, moment and everything. Uh, the leader of the bad guys stated that word. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. And it's only once. So <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, it it is in this movie. Um, but aside from that, the rest of the movie is a lot of fun. If you can overlook the stereotype of the fashion, <laughs> it's not even a stereotype. That's what that's what girls wore at that time. And um, I mean, like I said, adventure pirates. Look, I enjoy pirates. When Pirates of the Caribbean came out, I was buying all sorts of. Pirates. <laughs> my paycheck went to Pirates of the Caribbean merchandise <laughs> and um, so but the story is a lot of fun and it's it's just that one word it's it's towards the end of the movie so um, yeah it, it it shocked me but anyway uh, this is Betty and the Buccaneers it was released in 1917